Learn from God to enlighten your soul. This is your daily devotional reading. Our High Calling, April 27th, Rooted in Christ The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree, he shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Psalm 92 verse 12 The Christian is likened to the cedar of Lebanon. I have read that this tree does more than send down a few short roots into the yielding loam. It sends strong roots deep down into the earth and strikes down farther and still farther in search of a still stronger hold. And in the fierce blast of the tempest, it stands firm, held by its network of cables beneath. So the Christian strikes root deep into Christ. He has faith in his Redeemer. He knows in whom he believes. He is fully persuaded that Jesus is the Son of God and the Savior of sinners. The roots of faith strike deep down. Genuine Christians, like the cedar of Lebanon, do not grow in the soft surface soil but all rooted in God, riveted in the cleft of the mountain rocks. If the Christian thrives and progresses at all, he must do so amid strangers to God, amid scoffing, subject to ridicule. He must stand upright like the palm tree in the desert. The sky may be as brass, the desert sand may beat about the palm tree's roots, and pile itself in heaps about its trunk. Yet the tree lives as an evergreen, fresh and vigorous amid the burning desert sands. Remove the sand till you reach the rootlets of the palm tree and you discover the secret of its life. It strikes down deep beneath the surface to the secret waters hidden in the earth. As the palm tree drawing nourishment from fountains of living waters, is green and flourishing in the midst of the desert, so the Christian may draw rich supplies of grace from the fountain of God's love and may guide weary souls that are full of unrest and ready to perish in the desert of sin to those waters of which they may drink and live. The Christian is ever pointing his fellow men to Jesus, who invites, If any man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink. John 7 verse 37 This fountain never fails us, we may draw and draw again. Our High Calling, April 27th